Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you're visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Hayley and I review fragrances. Today I have a bit of a different concept for you. I am going to be sharing a capsule wardrobe for spring with perfume pairings. I've seen Josephine do this on her channel a few times and I absolutely love the concept. I really love fashion too, and I think it's a fun idea to match perfumes with different outfits. Today's video is in partnership with Lily Silk. They let me select some items from their new spring collection, and we came up with the idea of matching those items with perfumes together. So that is what this video is going to be about today. If you don't know anything about Lily Silk, they have the most incredible silk pieces not only clothing, but they also do silk bedding. I actually have silk pillowcases. I read that it's really good for your hair and your skin, but more than that, I just love the feeling of sleeping on silk. But today is about clothing. And as I mentioned, this video is in partnership with Lily Silk. Thank you so much to Lily Silk for collaborating with me on this concept. I am going to be matching four different fragrances with four different outfits. And I feel like these four different fragrances will see you through the springtime. Now for me, I am someone who loves a capsule wardrobe in my fashion. I think it's best to buy more high quality pieces that you can wear over and over again throughout the years rather than buying so much fast fashion that you will throw away or it will break down after so many wears. I think it's best to invest in high quality pieces. Now I mostly build my wardrobe around neutral colors. I don't generally wear too much color. You've probably noticed that on my channel. I feel like by investing in good neutrals, they are more versatile and you can build more outfits around those items. So most of the outfits I am sharing today are on the more neutral side, but that is in keeping with my personal style. But before I jump into the perfume pairings, let's highlight the first Lily Silk piece. It is this silk scarf and it is so, so soft, very, very luxurious. And you can wear scarves in so many ways like I am now around my neck. You can wear them in your hair. You can tie them around your handbag handles and wear it more like a twilly. And I also think scarves are such fantastic gifts too. So this is one of the items that I picked from Lily Silk for its versatility. So let's jump into my first perfume recommendation. My first recommendation would be Parisian Musk by Matière Premier. This has this light freshness that I think is perfect for the springtime. It can see you through so many different occasions too. You can wear this during the day, but you could also wear it for a formal occasion. But I find this to be more of a cozy and comforting scent that I would personally wear on a more casual basis, which is why I've paired this with a more casual outfit. Parisian Musk, as the name suggests, is a musky type of fragrance, but it has this fresh kind of green quality to it, which is coming from the fig. I absolutely adore fig fragrances, and this is a very creamy yet green type of fig mixed in with that fluffy white musk. So I have paired this with a cropped spun silk striped sweater, which is sleeveless, perfect for the springtime. It will keep you warm enough if it's not too hot outside, but it will also keep you cool if it is a little bit warmer. And this is made from 90% silk, so it feels so fantastic on your skin. I love the neckline on this sweater. It is a mock neck, so of course it comes up a little bit higher, which is my preference. I don't like to show too much skin or too much chest in my outfits. I love the stripe design. I feel like stripes are timeless and this will last you years and years and years within your wardrobe. I love the line of buttons on one side of the shoulder, which gives this a more unique look. And I do feel like you can wear this in different seasons too. And I have decided to pair this item with some casual balloon style jeans and some sneakers. And I think this is the perfect combination. You could of course dress this sweater up as well with more smart trousers, maybe a silk midi skirt, something like that. But I love that I can wear this more casually. So this is more of a casual look and I think that pairs perfectly with this fragrance. The next perfume that I want to recommend for spring is Giardini di Toscana Celeste. I think this is the perfect 
spring perfume. This is candied violet, vanilla and musk. And the violet gives this a powdery edge and it almost leans gourmand. The vanilla in this fragrance is quite sweet, yet at the same time, it's quite airy. I find Celeste to be quite ethereal. So I have paired this with this beautiful cream off the shoulder ribbed dress. The Vivi dress is made up from 80% silk and 20% nylon. It is stretchable and also has quite a smooth texture. I love the off the shoulder silhouette. I feel like this makes it perfect for the springtime and it makes it very chic and elegant. The vertical rib detail adds a little bit more of fluidity through the style and I feel like you can match lots of different belts with this dress, but I would also wear this without a belt too. This is the kind of dress that I would pair with maybe some heeled mules, but I would also wear this with flat sandals, loafers, and even sneakers. You could style this one in so many ways. The fabric is actually quite heavy, so this drapes beautifully on the body. It's not see-through at all, and it just feels so lovely on your skin. This is also a timeless design, so it will stay in your wardrobe for years and years and years. I feel like Celeste pairs really well with this dress because to me, I see this dress as a little bit more formal. You could wear it on a date, maybe a picnic in the park, an outdoor occasion, maybe horse racing or something like that. But you could also wear the dress casually. So whatever the vibes may be, I just feel like Celeste pairs perfectly with it. When I think about Celeste, I think about the color white or cream. So that is my second perfume pairing. Please do let me know what kind of outfit you would pair Celeste with if you have smelt this. But I have reviewed Celeste quite a few times on my channel. So if you want to know a little bit more detail about this scent profile, please do go check out my other reviews. Next up, I feel like we need a fresh fragrance for the spring. And Levitating by Floria Ku is a citrus tea woody vanilla fragrance. It opens with a burst of mandarin and bergamot and it's super juicy and fresh, but then you've got some black tea and mate through the mid. It dries down into a more vanillic gayak wood scent, but the freshness still remains. And I feel like spring definitely calls for a fresh scent. So how would I pair this perfume? I could have paired it in many different ways, but I feel like this type of scent profile is perfect for smart, casual vibes. So I have paired this with a silk wool waistcoat, which has a fully silk back. I think this cropped waistcoat is so chic. I love that it's tailored. I think the color is timeless and will match so many different types of outfit. It's such a stylish alternative to a blazer. You can wear it alone or you can layer it with different types of outfits, maybe a t-shirt underneath or even a shirt and I have chosen to match this waistcoat with some linen wide leg pants but I would also wear this with maybe a silk midi skirt even jeans but I love this kind of more tailored casual laid-back vibe this waistcoat is incredibly high quality I love the tailored fit of it and as I've already mentioned the back of this is so silky smooth against my skin. This is the best waistcoat I've ever tried. And this is definitely going to be such a staple in my wardrobe all year round now. But I do feel like this piece is perfect for the spring. And the reason I have paired it with levitating is because this is the kind of outfit you could wear to work. And I feel like levitating is a fragrance that's very mass appealing. You're gonna smell fresh and welcoming, but you could also wear this type of outfit out for dinner, even shopping, brunch with the girls. It's a very versatile type of outfit. And I feel like levitating is also such a versatile fragrance. So this is my third perfume slash outfit pairing. Next up is a musk fragrance and I reach for musk a lot in the springtime. This is the newest release from Narciso Rodriguez called Musk Nude. I am a huge fan of Narciso Rodriguez perfumes, my favorite being Pure Musk. And this one reminds me a little bit of Pure Musk, but with more florals and tonka bean in the base, this is so incredibly pretty very easy to wear. It has a lightness that is perfect for the spring, but people are definitely going to smell you too. This type of scent profile you could match with lots of different outfits, but I have chosen to pair it with this beautiful silk crepe shirt that I am wearing today. 
This has so many gorgeous details to it, which I'm going to show you in some close-up clips, but this silk is incredibly chic and so, so special. I could style this one up in so many ways. So I picked this V-neck white silk blouse because I feel like I could match this with so many different looks. I love the balloon bell sleeves. They have this incredible detail on the cuff, which is a Baroque pearl. And then you have these beautiful thin ties with feathers and pearls on the end. How cute. I think this is such a nice touch and it just adds this unique quality to an otherwise more simple white silk shirt. It's a relaxed fit that's still tailored. You can wear this in the daytime, but you could also wear this in the evening. And this is why I think this is such a perfect item for a capsule wardrobe. It will see you through so many different occasions. I could wear this in a work setting, but I could also wear it on a date night. And as I mentioned, I could style this one up in so many ways, but I've decided to pair this with some tailored nude trousers with a silk waistband. I've styled it a little bit more casually with some trainers, but you could also wear some heels with this look. But this is how I would personally wear this type of outfit. It's kind of smart casual to me. Again, I could wear this for many occasions. I could wear this to the office, but I could also wear this out for a nice lunch, maybe a shopping trip. But this shirt is so incredibly special and I just love the thoughtful detailing, such as the pearls and the feathers. So I've paired Musk Nude with this outfit because I do feel like Musk fragrances are a little bit more casual. They're your skin, but better. They're not too obnoxious and in your face. You wanna wear something a little bit looser and more airy with a musk scent. That is how I picture it anyway. Very cozy and comforting. And yeah, this is the type of outfit I would wear this fragrance with. I will be reviewing this perfume in more detail in a different video, but this is my last recommendation in my perfect spring perfume capsule wardrobe. If you do wanna try anything from Lily Silk, I do have a unique 20% off code, which I will pop on the screen, but also in the description box below. But you can see the quality of these pieces in the up close shots. Do let me know if you have any silk pieces in your wardrobe or cashmere pieces in your wardrobe because Lily Silk also do high quality cashmere pieces. Did you enjoy this concept of pairing perfumes with clothing? I would love to hear your feedback on that also, but I wanna thank Lily Silk for partnering with me on this video. It was so fun to film something a little bit different for you, and I really enjoyed picking out these pieces. They are timeless classics that I will wear for years to come. But thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope to see you in a future video to come. Thank you so much and goodbye.